It's time to check the morning news, not the news outside, not the news on your screen. The news in your body and mind. How is the breath right now? How is your mind right now? Is the mind ready to settle down? The Thai Chan shows the image of the mind leaning in different directions. If it's leaning forward, it's thinking about the future. Leaning back, it's thinking about the past. Leaning to the left and right, it's thinking about things it likes and doesn't like. Try to get the mind to stand up straight, right here in the present moment. Remind yourself of why you want to meditate. The mind needs training. It's looking for happiness, and yet it keeps causing suffering. And the Buddha explains it's because of our own ignorance. So we have to be very careful to watch the present moment, to see the latest developments. If the mind is in good shape, then you can check the breath. How's the breath going? You can take, take a couple of good, long, deep in and out breaths. And if that feels good, keep it up. If it feels strained or stressed, you can shorten the breath, make it more shallow. Or you can drive faster, slower, heavier, lighter. See what works right now. Then make a survey of the body. Where are there any patterns of tightness or tension? Think of breathing right through those. Think of comfortable breath going down all the way to the toes, all the way to the tips of the fingers, all around the body. And again, wherever you find any thing that doesn't seem quite right in the body, you can breathe through it, change the way you breathe. It's not only a, a news program, but it's also a, your morning checkup to see how things are going. And then when you keep the body and the mind together like this, that's good news. Keep that good news going. As for the news of the world outside, think of that image of the king in the four mountains. King Basenity came to see the Buddha in the middle of the day. And the Buddha said, what have you been up to? And the king says, in a remarkably frank way, well, the typical things that those who were obsessed with power get involved with. And the Buddha said, suppose a man were to come from the east with the news that there was a mountain moving in from the east crushing all living beings in his path. Another reliable man were to come from the south, one from the west, one from the north. Altogether, four mountains moving in from the four directions, crushing all living beings in their path. What would you do? And King Bhattis Sanity says, what else could I do but practice the Dharma? And the Buddha said in the same way, I tell you, aging, illness, and death are moving in. And it doesn't matter which national leader is riding which mountain. Many times the mountains that get to you are not ones with national leaders anyhow. They're just daily side-of-the-road kind of mountains, but they can crush you. So you have to calm your mind and say, okay, what I can do, what I can hold on to is the good karma I do. So focus there. When you stay focused like this, doing your duty right here, right now, that's when the Buddha says you have an auspicious day. That's good news. And it's the kind of news you can make sure that every day is a good news day. That's what's really important in your life.